family, friends, and thousands of men and women in blue line the streets in Astoria to mourn the loss of one of the youngest city cops killed in the line of duty. A Long Island Railroad train derails just west of the Forest Hill Station in Queens. Officials say none of the passengers were serious. A sad farewell for one of New York's finest as funeral services are held for slain officer Sean McDonald. That story and more in a moment across the tri-state area turn out for a final salute to 26-year-old officer Sean McDonald. Thousands of McDonald's fellow officers lined the streets at the most precious blood Roman Catholic Church Saturday to pay tribute to one of the youngest cops ever killed in the line of duty. Mayor Giuliani and Police Commissioner Bratton were among the mourners, along with McDonald's brother and fellow officer Andrew, his young widow Janet, and their two children, three-year-old Sean and one-year-old Carrie. The men charged with murdering Officer McDonald are being held without bail after hearing some harsh words from the judge. 20-year-old Rodolfo Rodriguez, the alleged trigger man, and 27-year-old Javier Miranda are charged with killing McDonald as he broke up a robbery in the Bronx Tuesday night. During their arraignment Friday, Judge Eduardo Padro called the alleged actions of the defendants, quote, a blow to the hardworking members of the Latino community. And if the two are convicted, Judge Padro said he hopes justice is swift. Long Island. I'm Reg Well. 10,000 mourners turn out to pay their final respects to a slain police officer. This is Polly. As thousands of police officers paid last respects to their fallen comrade, Sean McDonald. They mourn a courageous young man gunned down in the line of duty. Young Yoon has a wrenching story of grief. Ten thousand police officers from all across the metropolitan area and as far away as Canada gathered in Astoria, Queens, to say goodbye to a hero. When the salute goes up, you you have that feeling in your heart that it could have been you, and that you have to be here for something like this because it's uh, it's a member of the family. Police officer Sean McDonald, only 26 years old and a father of two small children, was gunned down in cold blood Tuesday when he tried to stop a robbery inside a Bronx clothing store. He gave this, his life for the, uh, the city of New York. He was doing it for everybody, not just for himself, not just to make a, a gun arrest. He was doing it because he knew it was the right thing to do for everybody in the city of New York. Two suspects are in custody, charged with his murder, but that's small solace for his colleagues from the 44th Precinct. Even though the guys were arrested, it doesn't bring those kids back a father, it doesn't bring us back a friend. McDonald's young widow carried her husband's three-year-old namesake into the funeral service, where Mayor Giuliani and Police Commissioner Bratton eulogized McDonald as a true hero and inspiration. After the mass, little Sean emerged from the church in his uncle Andrew's arms, clutching a cross. Overhead, helicopters whirled in a final salute to his father's heroism. Sean McDonald leaves behind a family and a city in terrible pain, but his partners in blue say his legacy will never be forgotten. Never give up, always care for the people of New York City, and give it your best. In the story of Queens, Kyung Yoon, Fox News. And welcome to Sunday Today in New York. Well, let's face it, we've all waited a long time to be able to say that spring arrives today. It's been a rough winter, 36 degrees out there right now. In our top story this morning, as two men charged with his murder remain jailed without bail, Officer Sean McDonald was laid to rest in Queens. 10,000 cops from here and around the country paid tribute yesterday. News 4's Steve Dunlop reports. He was only 26, gone way before his time. In tribute to Officer Sean McDonald, the bass drums of the Police Emerald Society beat out a funeral march that shook the soul. 
and among this murdered cop's childhood friends and fellow officers, the look of youthful invincibility disappeared from face after face. I never thought that he was gonna get killed this way. He was there to help protect all of us. If he had a problem, like Sean was there for you. I can't believe they did this to him. Among the mourners at most precious blood Catholic church were those who had seen many funerals. Mayor Giuliani, Police Commissioner Bratton, Council Speaker Vallone, Bishop Thomas Daly of Brooklyn, Officer Stephen McDonald, who remains paralyzed from a 1986 attempt on his life, and throngs of police from throughout the New York region and as far away as Boston. At one point, Officer McDonald's wife, Janet, passed her late husband's police cap on to her three-year-old son, Sean Jr., but he handed it back to her, apparently too young, too confused to understand. One day when he's older, young Sean may look back on the images of this day and ask why it had to be. Right now, countless thousands of police are asking that question themselves. Steve Dunlop for Sunday, Today in New York. In a story, the, P the Police Emerald Society pipe band set the tone as Mayor Giuliani, Police Commissioner Bratton, and other political leaders led the mourners. Officer McDonough was killed Tuesday trying to stop a robbery in the Bronx. President